Okay, so for this question, we do not know an estimate of a, a the population proportion. We don't have a prior sample to use. They didn't give us any estimate. So what we need to do is you're going to be looking at looking at this uh, this formula in the Dr. Stevens textbook, where we don't know an estimate of p hat. So what we'll do is we will use what we do is we say, okay, if we don't know, we'll say we'll make a guess. It's fifty percent of the population will do that, and fifty percent times. 50% or 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.25. So that's why the 0.25 comes from. So that's how, why that happens. Now we need a critical value of Z because we got to use, they're telling us what level of confidence to use. And I'm seeing a 99.9% .9 level of confidence. So if we go look in at that David Lane, not David Lane, uh, Dr. Stevens textbooks, he doesn't have a 99.9, .9. he has 99 and trying to keep uh, computer happy, we know we need to be a little more exact than that. So how, this is how we do it. I'm going to show you a couple ways of how to, how to deal with this. So one way is to use the table, and some of you do like using these tables. So I'll show you that. Well, since 99.9% in the middle, that tells me 0.1% um, outside that. Or I'm writing these as decimals. So I made it. I made it be a decimal, not a percentage, right? And then half of it's in either side. So I'm looking for a value that's 0 0.0005 to the left, 0 0.0005 to the right. Add those together, you get one one thousandth, which is the remainder, right? So go look in the table, and we're going to look for as close as we get to 0 0.05. And as you know, this is going to be a pretty small, a pretty big. P value, I mean, a pretty big uh, Z score. And if you look here, see, we got to go inside and look as close as we can get to 0 0.005. And notice there's three different values to use. So I'm going to take, I'm, I'm thinking, because it's not going to be that big a difference between any of these, I'm going to go with negative 3.26, uh, or three, negative 3.27. All right. I mean, maybe we would be a little more active at 0 .0, 0.08, but I don't know. I'm going to try this and see if I can get it right. So the Z score I'm going to use is neg uh, it's not negative, just 3.27. So let's come back here. Let's start setting up this formula. So 3.27, I said, I'm going to square it. I'm going to multiply by 0 0.25. And then divide it by the margin of error squared. In this case, margin of error is uh, 2.5%. So 0 0.025, and we'll square it. Um, what if you don't like using that table? How can you get that critical value? Um, before I get the actual answer, if you go to David Lane, tell it the area. Uh, so here, here David Lane says 3.29. So maybe we should be using 3.29, not 3. Uh, you remember, we go value from an area, type in the area. What if we do uh, 0.999 and go between? Because that probably gives me the same. Uh, so hmm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we don't want to use the 3.29. Just trying to keep the mild and math happy. So let's change that to a nine, and we'll see. Remember how there was three of them? They were all the same. Maybe we'll air error on the side of caution and see. Boy, I'm punching all these buttons and having everything pop up. Uh, let's see, let's do, so I've got my graphing calculator right here. And I'm gonna clear that. And I'm gonna do 3.29. I'm gonna square it. I'm gonna times that by multiply by 0 0.25. That comes from the 0.5 times 0.5 divided by the 0 0.025 squared. Be careful with your phone calculators. They don't always use order of operations. If you turn them sideways on your iPhones, if you turn them sideways so they're in scientific mode, it'll take care of it. Um, so 43, and, and yes, in this case, we would round up even using regular rounding rules. But remember, there, for these sample size calculations, we always round up regardless of what the decimal is, unless there's no decimal. If, it, if it's an integer, if I had multiplied this and got 4329.00, I would have just gone with the, the 43.29, but in this case, I'm always gonna round it up. So 43.30, let's see if I get this right. 
whoops, 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 43.30. Let's see if I get 43.30. Submit it. Ooh, it doesn't like it. What are they saying? 43.32. So I am close. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. I don't know. I don't know. What if I had used, what if I had used, I mean, that is so close. I mean, with the, I'm within two. I wonder if I had used 3.291. I wonder if that would have done it. Let's, let's see. I'm just trying to make, I'm just trying to agree with what uh, my open math has given us. So I'm just gonna change this to a one. We'll round up to 4333. Uh, where's where is it? 4333. Let's see if it likes it. I know it said two, but sometimes there's some wiggle room. Okay, that's what it wanted. So to make my open math happy, I had to add add the extra decimal point. Okay. I mean, if you got that close, I would, you know, if you, if you're looking for credit, send me the work, send me, send me, send me the work and we'd certainly get it, get it to you. All right. So, but that's how it works. That's if you're one of my students, if you're somebody else, talk to your professor. All right. I'm going to stop this video and upload it.